Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Day one of Ultimate Team of Season has crashed the market. What an absolutely mental day of prices dropping on these cards, the brand new Ultimate Tots cards that are back into packs. I guess it's not brand new because we've seen these cards before, but the reintroduction and the pack supply from all of the lightning rounds that Tots uh, swap token pack that was in the store all of that combined is crashing the market and prices are dropping like crazy i want to take a look at that because some cards have been devalued by more than 50 percent on the transfer market because of these crazy pr price drops and also we have the, a lot of the rest of the market being impacted by this a lot of other cards that are out of packs or not inside of the ultimate tots team I've seen some other card prices be impacted already because uh, people are seeing how cheap the ultimate tots are in general, and it's kind of correcting the market across even some of these cards that are not in packs. And I think that's going to continue today on Sunday. So I want to take a look at that. But also during all this market madness and all of these prices that are dropping, I do think there are places to invest and make coins. And I want to take a look at that in today's video as well. I don't know why I'm searching Salah 1.5 million coins. The dude is 1.1 mil. Like what? Salah was 1.7 mil two days ago. Now he's 1.1. So I want to take a look at all of that and what kind of content to expect today on Saturday inside of FIFA 22. Probably more end of an era content. We had three end of an era cards yesterday. I think we're going to have at least one more again today with more leaks to talk about and uh, cards that we might see in the upcoming days. So if you're enjoying the beginning of Ultimate Tots, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new now this is why it's all going down these cards right here being back into packs and these cards getting supplied and packed so much that was one of the biggest things we talked about in yesterday's video was the pack supply that could be happening from the saved up packs and the swaps token pack that ea could put in the store they did end up putting it out and that's why i really think you're seeing so much price drop on these cards i mean I, I don't even need to show you all these prices right you guys know ruben diaz probably one of the biggest drops in percentage point wise yesterday going from 210,000 coins down to 80 K, a 60% plus drop in price on that card. Kula Bali, we were talking about this in last night's video, and even yesterday, he was still up. He was 540K yesterday before content dropped, and he went down anywhere. He is now 180K. This guy, I packed him yesterday. You can see the Tots counter was up to 141. I opened up a bunch of player picks and a couple packs. I know a lot of you guys opened up a bunch of packs as well, but this guy was actually super supplied, as was basically the whole entire team, except for your really top tier cards. Like Mbappe, Ronaldo, and Vinny have not moved that much, but the rest of the team is down bad from all of the pack supply. Now, of course, I think that part of the reason you saw, like specifically on this Kula Bali, you saw a little bit extra price drop-offs and you didn't see as much panic selling yesterday before these cards came out because the casual user base on FIFA did not know that this was coming. Ultimate Tots was not promo. There was no loading screen. There was no EA tweets. Basically, um, people didn't know about it until it was happening. And I think that when there's a bit of a surprise to the casual user base on this game, uh, that impacts the market a little bit extra. And that's why I think you did see some of these prices dropping even more than like 30 to 40% because you had so many people that were panic selling. I was on the market yesterday, live on stream, looking at these cards as they were dropping. And so many of these cards that we were looking at, like a guy like Paqueta or stuff like that, people were like in the first couple minutes after these cards being re-released into packs, you had so many of them that were first owner fresh, like this one that was just getting packed again. It was re-released back into packs. But there were also so many of them that had a lot of games played with chemistry styles, which kind of shows you that people were panic selling as the prices were going down as well because they saw that their players were losing so much value and they saw like the loading screen or the tweets from EA saying that, oh my goodness, these cards are back in packs. So I think that contributed to the price dropping uh, on the market as well. But as I said, with all of the insane price drops that we saw yesterday, I know a lot of people lost a lot of coins. If you did not know that this was coming, right? If you're not watching like the YouTube videos or if you're not really into the game and in you know, especially into leaks on Twitter. A lot of people did know Ultimate Tots was coming, but also a lot of people didn't know. And I think a lot of people, casual specifically, lost a lot of coins yesterday. But as you look at these cards now, 
you're like, oh my goodness, like some of these cards have dropped so much in price. Like I can actually afford them now. Like I was trying out Marquinhos for my team yesterday. I bought him for 600K, played one game, took a tax loss, and now he's 525,000 coins. But I'm sitting here thinking, man, and I can imagine that so many people in this game are now thinking, wow, I can actually afford a much better team now uh, because of how much these cards have dropped off in value. And I think that is where you're gonna see some bigger market impact today. For other out of packs cards, that would be cards that are not in ultimate team of the season. Like take a look at Dybala. Dybala was 2.5 mil for all of the day yesterday. He really did not drop until later, uh, like the last hour or two. He went from 2.6 down to 2.4. And here he is now at 2.4 mil. You know, I sold a bunch of Tonalis at like 340. He's now 315K. Quadrado is back down. Uh, Berardi is down. Vlahovic is down. With this team, with the Ultimate Tot Squad dropping so much in price and all these players being down, that is making people want to go out and try these insane cards that they were not able to afford before. But with the big price drops, now they can. And they're selling some of their other items to do that. And I think it's going to really cause a big correction on the whole entire market, um, even of the cards that are out of packs and not an ultimate team in the season as well. So I think that's a part of things that I would continue to watch out for. Guys like Pedri, he's down a little bit. He was 1.35. Felix is down like 20 or 30K. You know, this is going to impact prices on cards across the whole entire game. You know, in packs, out of packs. I sold Sun at 550K and he's now 515. So he is down in price. Um, you know, it, it's just going to continue to impact the market. And I think that's going to continue today as well on Saturday as people like wake up and, and they see the prices of these cards as they have dropped even more overnight with the, the lightning rounds that EA keep putting out and supplying these cards like crazy. So that's kind of what's going on with the market. I'm keeping my coins pretty liquid in terms of team of the season cards. So if you're going to try and trade with any of these for quick flips, I would say good luck. Um, and you know, I think that overall the ultimate tots cards are probably going to drop off even more today on Friday. I think you'll see some fluctuations like Teo Hernandez, uh, was just down at 700,000 coins and now he is up about 20,000, 25,000 coins. So, you know, a card like this may have some fluctuations and there may be some opportunities to trade with a few of these cards for quick flips. But in general, I still think that most, if not all of these ultimate tots cards that are in packs are going to end up being lower as we go into today on Saturday, tonight, and into tomorrow on Sunday. And then I think on Sunday, we're going to kind of have to evaluate how low these cards are and think, okay, the supply is probably going to start drying up and they might start to rise into the week, depending on how the content is. So that's kind of my thought on these ultimate tots cards at least my preliminary thoughts we'll continue to follow these today with more lightning rounds more packs probably not an insane day of content but as people finish weekend league uh they're probably going to sell some of these cards off as well and i think you'll see their prices keep going down as like i mentioned with the rest of the market i would be really careful owning cards today um, it just, it's just one of those times on FIFA where you want to be careful owning like anything because it just seems like everything is dropping because the cards that are in packs, you know, people are kind of gravitating towards them as they're, as they've gotten a lot cheaper and that's going to correct the market as a whole. So that's kind of my thoughts on this part of the market right now. Now I want to talk a little bit more about what I was saying in the title of the video and at the beginning about investing. You're like, Nate, with the market going down this bad right now, what in the world could we invest in? Well, you know what time it is, right? It's Saturday. It's the weekend or it's Friday night when I'm recording this. And what usually gets low on the weekend? SBC fodder. And it's not just low. It is absolutely in the mud. Some like the rest of the market is. Take a look at 84s. Less than 2,000 coins, man. That's ridiculous. 85s are 3K. 86s are 7 to 7.5K. It is astounding how cheap some of these cards are. Now, I will say this. Some of your higher tier fodder is not all that low, right? Kane is 28K. Ter Stegen, 27,000 coins. Some of your like 88s to 90s are not super duper cheap. That as I think there's still some people out there that maybe have not done the icon moments player pick that are going out with their open packs and going and doing those. But I think that fodder across the board right now is a fantastic investment. And I think you want to start buying it pretty soon, either today before Sunday, I think is when you want to start looking at these cards, whether it's late night with the lightning rounds, like right now when you're watching this video, early morning, Saturday, as it's still pretty cheap 
or maybe even Saturday night. Sometime in the next 24 to 36 hours, I think you want to get involved with SPC fodder. You're like, Nate, what ratings? Honestly, same thing as always. Anything 84 rated to 92 rated. I like the higher tier stuff for the more quick turnaround investment. If you want to buy like 88s to 92s, I think there's more people investing here, but I think they're investing with good reason because we would expect to see another Icon Moments player pick SBC re-upped. I think we would expect it to be re-upped. Um, where's it at? Icon Moments player pick. It's got 38 hours left. I'm recording this, right? It's going to expire on Sunday. Probably going to get a new one of these. Hopefully it's repeatable two times coming out this coming Sunday, tomorrow. And I think that would be more demand. Again, especially think about all the people, myself included, that went out yesterday and did a bunch of player picks, did a bunch of packs that they opened, whether it was 84 times 25s from swaps or, you know, even the, like I'm probably going to do the 84 times 25 pack from the tot swap too. get one of those, uh, those tokens in there and get that pack. So, so many people have fodder after that clubs are chuck full of players right now. And EA have a great opportunity to start draining those out with some of the end of the year SBCs that they've been putting out and with another icon upgrade SBC. That's why I think fodder is a really, really good investment. I like the higher tier, of course, because of the player pick of the icon player pick that should be coming out again. But I like the lower tier as well, because I think that with all of these SBCs that we're getting, we have an 88 plus tots pack or no, that was last year. We have a tots player pack and an eFigs TOTS player pack added to the code. I do not think we're getting a guaranteed Ultimate TOTS SBC as I have seen right now. I have not seen any leaks for that or pack code added for that, so I'm not expecting it. But, you know, I still think there's going to be good content throughout this week that would make some of the 83s, 84s, 85s, 86s go up in price as well. So that's why I'm saying anything like 83 to 84 rated all the way up to 92 is probably good for an investment or for a club stock. Absolutely, in my opinion, as you know, you just see some of these prices get really, really low. Um, I mean, it's crazy looking at 85s and seeing three to four thousand coins. That's usually where 84s are. So that's kind of my best advice. That's the easiest investment you can make right now um, is going in on some of this fodder because it's just it's ridiculously cheap. That's the bottom line. Um, of that right now. So whether you want to do a club stock, just buy a couple of players for your transfer list, or you just want to buy fodder to get ahead to like do the icon moments player pick for cheaper before some of those cards maybe go up later on this weekend or in the week, that's a great opportunity uh, or a great option. And right now you have a great opportunity to pick up some of those cards as well. So that's why I love fodder investing once again this weekend. Uh, I think it should do pretty good as you know, hopefully the SBCs this week continue to turn out nice. Now, speaking of SBCs and content, yesterday, we didn't really start off with a bang. We started, I mean, man, this potential, the end of an era cards, the potential that we have here, it could have been a 10 out of 10 content day yesterday, but the cards that they put out, player selection, great. Stats, great. But the skill move weak foot and the upgrades on the work rates, not good. We were so disappointed to see only a plus one weak foot on this Di Maria. If this was a four star weak foot, this card is still hype, right? Don't get me wrong. It's basically Jelson Martins. Think about it, right? Jelson Martins, five star skills, three star weak foot. It's kind of just like that, but with PSG links uh, and it hits you in the fields because it's Di Maria, right? And you know that this is like the last PSG Di Maria card before he moves on. But again, just not seeing the four star weak foot puts a lot of people off. I think the price in this SBC is not too bad. It's about 400k to do. It's going to be pretty craftable. Uh, it's five star skills. It's PSG links. And like I said, again, it's just a bummer that uh, we didn't get good skill move or sorry, weak foot upgrade on that card. But then if you look at objectives, same thing with Fabregas and with Juan Mata. Great upgrades. The stats are fine, especially for objective cards. These are not like incredible. They're cool, right? They're such cool items. But we don't want to use like cards with three star weak foot in June, like June 10th, June 11th, medium, medium, Juan Mata. Like, man, if EA could have made this 4 4, um, you know, that would have been so much better. It still is going to be a decent card in the game. And I know a lot of people are going to want to do this just for the feels, right? If you're a United fan um, or if you're a fan of Fabregas or Di Maria, you're going to want to go do this objective to get these guys done, especially since there's tokens involved, at least for Mata. So, the cool part is we have more of these coming. So EA have more opportunities to kind of, uh, I guess, make up for the poorer cards that they may be released today. Now, again, don't get me wrong. These are cool, but I think I would have liked just a little bit more 
on the skill move weak foot upgrade category for a lot of those cards. Now, today on Saturday, I think we're going to be getting uh, more end of the era cards. And there's a couple other leaks that I want to show you. We didn't get Insigne. I was expecting Insigne to be the SBC since he was leaked first. He didn't actually drop. So he might be our SBC today since he was still listed pretty early on. But we have two more cards to look at coming via SBC. And it seems like we're going to be getting these like all week long. I think they dropped a little message in games that said they're going to be theming the content this week around end of an eras as well. We have a Schmelzer card. That's kind of a cool card. A German left back in the Bundesliga. Doesn't look that insane, but let me remind you once again, these are predicted stats. These are not expected stats. So whenever this does drop, it could come as a bit of a rival to um, Alfonso Davies if he's got like 95 pace or higher. Again, the links here are pretty nice. Nice green link to the flashback Sule if you guys still have that in your club. Any Dortmund links that you may need, this guy will provide a nice triangle for those. So that's a pretty cool card. And then this is the most recent leak right here. Mark Noble. He just had a captain's card. It looks like he's getting an end of an era as well. Uh, are these stats predicted? Stats predicted. That'd be a really, really awesome card. And since he's already had the foot captain's card with decent stats, I really hope they give him an awesome end of an era item to celebrate some some of mark noble's career so i don't know the release dates for these guys i really don't but you know we usually the earlier things that are leaked end up coming sooner so maybe insigne is today usually we have the first two days of a promo with back-to-back -back player sbcs um and then also you know we would see we would expect to see schmelzer and mark noble in the coming few days uh on this game i also don't know what to think about again aguero that was leaked or Dembele, the former Tottenham player. I don't know about those older leaks for end of an era cards, if they're going to be involved in this promo at all as well. We'll have to see um, if those are released. So we'll, I guess we'll hold out our hope a little bit, uh, maybe for some of those cards. Now, also when it comes to leaks, we have a card design like we looked at in yesterday's video and a couple players leaked for the Conmebol Bowl team of the group stage, which is basically team of the season. This guy is going to be the most hyped, Mr. Alvarez. 98 pace, 94 dribbling. Are these predicted stats? Um, I don't know if these are predicted stats or not. Yes, they are. Stats predicted. So um, I think these are going to drop either today or tomorrow. I'm not sure. If I had to guess, I would say Sunday. But we will be getting a team of Conmebol Bowl players with this card design um going to be added into the game it's kind of like the economy bowl team of the season but they're called team of the group stage cards because that competition is still going so that's kind of like our upcoming content to look forward to based off of the leaks right now in this game it's kind of cool that there's a lot of the end of an era related content i mean again there's there's plenty of end of an era cards they could drop i'm gonna end up doing the Di Maria just because it's cool and because i have a lot of fodder so I'm a fan if they make the rest of these SBCs this week pretty hype and pretty good because I would love to take part in a few of those uh, just based off of how things are going uh, and how those cards could look. So I'm a fan of that. Now, the way that it goes on the market for me, yesterday, I didn't really try to make a ton of coins. I knew that with that token pack dropping, it was going to be it was gonna be a madness, right? Um, I did sell some Suns. I bought these at uh, like 490, 500, sold those for 550. I sold all my Tonalis at like 340 to 350 as well. Um, and, and those were a W, right? Those ended up being a W. I'm glad that I sold those because he's back down. If Insigne were to come and get five-star skills, I could see Tonali going back up. But I, I chose to sell on the hype because of how kind of dead the end of an era cards were. Um, and, you know, it doesn't look good for the rest of them. So that's why I chose to sell on the hype for Tonali. Uh, I tried Marquinhos, like I mentioned. I did buy two tails. Didn't really work out. I bought two De Bruins, sold them in a tax loss. So we, we did end up in the positive with the amount that we made on Sun and Tonali. Uh, I have bought a couple. Uh, oh, yeah, I had Quadrado as well. I bought a couple Teo Hernandez tonight in like the low 700s, 714 and 708. I'm going to do a couple risky flips into today on Saturday because I do think there's a couple of these cards that, that might rebound. And just because they're really, really rare and because their prices have dropped off so incredibly, incredibly much, like it's wild seeing Ben Yedder at 1.48 million coins. Like it's just, it's all about timing with these cards. Like knowing that Ben Yedder was really low at 1.5, but still getting relisted right now has me like, okay, I'm watching this but I want to be very careful. Same thing with a guy like Benzema, right? Benzema was 2.6 yesterday and now he is 2.25. But like, look at all the supply. It's crazy, right? It's crazy how much supply these cards have because you have the combination of these cards being supplied already for a week. 
Um, and whenever they were first released in as a part of their team of the seasons, like for Prem Tots, Salah got supply, and now he got even more supply yesterday and this weekend and, and this week in total. And it's just crazy to see the price drops, man. I mean, that's one thing that always happens in the in these market crashes is just when you see the prices go down, especially this year in FIFA. Uh, since the market's been so volatile and since prices just seem to drop like all the time, um, it's just wild to see how vastly, or how quickly, how fast, and just how, it, it's like a cliff, man. When you go and look at these price graphs on Footbin, it's literally just like a straight drop off. And you really feel for people on the market this year that lose so many coins because of how fast these cards drop at a moment's notice. I mean, imagine you were a casual that was just, you know, chilling with your Tots Paqueta that you bought for 1.5 mil uh, and you were just using him in your team. And bang, now he's down to, you know, 900K and you're losing 600,000 coins. Like, that's the part that really sucks about these crashes. But also, the other side of the coin is. If you bought these cards during team of the season, like let's say you bought uh, Marquinhos for like 700K during League on Tots and you're like, man, I'm happy with this card. I, he was in my end game team. And you're like, right now, I really don't care that I'm losing 200 coins, 200,000 coins because he's in my end game squad and I just really don't care. That's fine as well. So whatever twist you're going to put on it, whatever you're, wherever you're at in this stage of FIFA, that's completely fine. Um, but I know there's a lot of people losing coins and, and that still hurts, right? Even though it's June, some people aren't happy about it. But I completely understand if you're like, I don't care because this game for me is I've got my final team. I'm happy with the cards that I've got and I'm not going to worry about the market anymore. So I, there's two sides of the coin is all I'm saying. There's probably a, a middle ground in between two. But, you know, that's just the way that it is. When these market crashes happen, these prices drop, people, you know, people get upset. But also people are like, I don't care. So wherever you're at in there, um, GG because some people are, are leaving this game already and I think that some of these price drops will make people not want to, to be around this game too much longer because price is dropping on this game, especially if you guys remember the beginning of the year, people were so mad about losing so many coins and people left the game early in the year even because the market was so crazy and they were constantly losing coins uh, that they didn't want to be a part of it. So here we are again in June and nothing's changed. The market is still tanking like crazy, but I think there might be a couple opportunities to quick flip some of these cards. Um, but I'm gonna keep it very quick, very you know. I'm I'm not gonna put a lot of coins. Like I'm not gonna buy Salah unless I can get 1.1 mil because I see those 1.2 mil cards listed overnight. Um, you know, it's crazy to me that Modric is like 390 thousand coins. It's just wild to see these prices, and I, it makes me want to go and try these cards. Like Benzema being so cheap, or, or Rafael Leao dropping off so much, it makes me want to go out and try them because they're a lot they're a lot cheaper, and uh, you know, it's it feels like you're you're expending less coins to try some of these cards out. So that's the W part about the market crash, but of course, the L part is that people are losing a lot of coins right now on this market because of it. Um, and I know there's still tot swap tokens to be obtained as well. Let me let me show you guys this really fast, actually, the token update. If you guys did not see it, we do not have all the tokens released. There are four more tokens to get, um, to get us to 25. So if you're like, Nate, where's my tokens? We got four more to go. Uh, today on Saturday will be a huge day because people will be claiming their one of five League One Premier League player picks um, for the first time since we'll have 22 tokens available most likely after today. So be on the lookout for that. Um, hopefully we can open a couple of those on the stream, post on the Clips channel or something, just to see how those give out. Uh, but I saw a lot of really insane 84 times 25s yesterday. I opened my 83 times 25 and all my player picks. Uh, I hit a lot of like, you know, rest of the world and MLS tots uh, fodder cards. Koulibaly was my best pull, but it was still a lot of fun to save up all those player picks and to open so many of them yesterday with Altman Tots being released. So here's what I want to know. Down in the comments, tell me how many coins you lost yesterday, A, or B, what insane Tots cards you packed because that was the hype, most hype part for a lot of people yesterday on this game. It should be a good day Saturday. Hopefully they've juiced the end of an era card, whoever they put out. And again, watch these Tots cards because I really don't think they're done dropping on this market. We'll reconvene tomorrow to talk about it all. If you did enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate's Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.